welcome to my painting process. My name is Wes and I'm painting today a painting of five Canadian geese flying. This is a painting I've uh, painted before on a, I think it was a 20 by 20 inch canvas. Um, this time I've got a 20, 20 by 20 canvas and a 20 by 16 canvas beside it. Uh, it's kind of a diptych, which means it spans one image spanning across two two canvases or panels. I don't know why I chose two different width canvases, but I thought it would be interesting. And I also was thinking if it didn't quite work, I could uh, put another 20 by 16 canvas on the left side as well to kind of mirror it, and that may look more balanced. Uh, but... And I'm really, uh, like I said, I'm looking off to the left of my monitor. I've got a picture of my of the original painting I did, and that's kind of what I'm going by. Not really looking at a reference photo except for my previous painting. And um, these, you know, don't look anything like it yet, but they will look like more like Canadian geese. Um, I was actually looking at it now and thinking, you know, maybe I should make one with flying penguins because they kind of look more like penguins than geese so far, but uh, they'll get there and penguins don't fly, as far as I know. Uh, yeah, so uh, like the original painting, I've kind of put this this kind of dark cloud-like thing in the middle of the whole thing. It's just kind of a framing device to kind of center everything and it sets off the light colors of the of the uh, geese as well as the darker values you know are darker than the background so I figure a medium um, medium hue medium uh, color would uh, would work well and here I'm using um, after I've kind of got it all roughed in and now I'm using a china marker it's a black china marker which is like a wax pencil but because it's the canvas is still mostly wet the paint on it is still mostly wet it's it ends up scratching off some of it which I don't mind it kind of looks interesting that's why you're seeing some of the lighter values there As I'm going, like that middle one looks a bit like a vulture now, the, with the head and all, but or maybe some kind of Dr. Seuss flying animal. But here's where it's, they start to kind of take form. I'm using a liner brush here, which is normally reserved for the end of the painting, but I wanted to get the line work kind of done on the geese to make them become geese. And Although this is slower and you know may prove a waste of time, um, it's just what I thought to do next. I usually try to wait on smaller brush till the end of the painting process, but <clears throat> also at this stage I really kind of like the loose feel of it, so I was kind of thinking that I might keep a lot of that in, you know, not refine it too much at this point. Oh, and if you're observant, you probably saw that I, I've gotten a haircut since the beginning of the video. Um, I've kind of cut my own hair. I have for, well, I've always cut my own hair since leaving home. Um, and it looks like it's not a great cut because I've got some longer hair on top that looks funny from the back. But, you know, beggars can't be choosers. So, yeah, I'm just going through everywhere where there's near black you know values on the uh, images and painting it in um, I say this almost every painting video but acrylic paint you kind of the method of painting is generally you paint in layers so you lay down a layer of paint and you let that layer dry and then you come back to it once it's dry and then it, you can fix whatever you've put in previous layers um, because uh, I often get the question of how are you so confident with putting down, you know, black lines or any colors. You know, some people struggle with, you know, paralysis when they're faced with 
you know, an empty canvas and so many decisions to make. And really, it's just a matter of experience, the fact that you know that making a mistake is going to happen, so you just make it happen right away. That way it's over with, and you can fix the mistake in the next layer of paint. And that's kind of always kind of been my, um, I don't know, intuitive way of painting. Because in that confidence, you also get some jewels that come out of it, some bits of painting that just work the first time and then you can go with that, you know. Although painting with a liner brush I still reserve for the end of the painting process normally because um, it wastes a lot of time if if you still have a lot more painting to do and you'll end up painting over a lot of this. But um, like I said, I think I was already at this point uh, Kind of assigning the style of the painting to be loose and with visible line work. Um, I even like the the fact that you can see some of these other little lines around the geese where I where that weren't quite right. So I'm I'm going to be incorporating that and adding more in a little while here. This is the phase where I, I end up kind of messing up the painting a bit. Um, I do this with a lot of my paintings adding in color, little blotches of color here and there. It, it does a couple of things. First, it allows me to correct it with another pass of, the, of paint. And what I mean by that is, usually if something's not quite right, um, instead of just trying to fix it, I'll often make it even worse first. That way, it kind of, I get out of my own way and I can approach the painting next time with a kind of a clear mind and I can just do it again and that creates um, a history to the painting where you can see you know more work has gone into it than just a single try and for me that it just looks more interesting the finished product so you well, I haven't actually started that little process yet but you'll see me in just a moment putting the little dots everywhere. Here I'm just kind of you know, balancing things out, making it look interesting, the shapes and everything. <clears throat> These little white touches are the thing that kind of make, make the, the bird a specific bird for me. I like Canadian geese. They, uh, my favorite part is when they're flying overhead, especially on foggy mornings, and you'll hear them hear them kind of migrating over and giving those honk honk honks. And I don't know, it's just a a satisfying sound. We get them flying over every now and then around here, but not not often. Here's the start of the blotchy color thing I was talking about, the messing up portion of the painting. I need to come up with a better name for it. Um, you know, it's an intentional thing. It, it really helps, I think, my painting process. It also helps break up any possible, you know, solid areas of paint that need more interest in them, where they may be too boring if it's just a, a plain color. Little blotches also kind of remind me of, I don't know, kind of a particulates in the atmosphere um, it's exaggerated but you know oftentimes you'll see bits of things like that like uh, looking out over a lake you'll see a shimmery you know sunlight reflected off the lake 
and um, it may appear as a little just a flash of, of white um, so it's kind of like doing that to the sky as well giving it a slightly magical appearance and here I'm back with my China marker um, doing the uh, line work to make it look less finished more energetic adding those lines back in Again, I could have spent more time with a reference photo, actually getting the anatomy a little more correct, but uh, it really wasn't my main concern. It's just creating an interesting painting. Getting them, you know, correct enough for the eye to look at that sort of thing. Um, the last little bit of detail at the very end I didn't capture on film but or on video but it's just uh, I kind of gave the uh, the body a little more whitening and um, a little more color and just cleaned up a few things and signed my name and that was basically it um, I like how it came out it's uh, interesting I think I like the you know uh, lopsided canvases. I think it works fine as it is. Anyway, I appreciate you stopping by and watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, again, my name is Wes. You can check out my website at wesf.com. W-E-S-S-F.com. Thanks for checking this out. Appreciate it.